Ziggity Zig talking his way out of gold game number 27, and this, as you'll note, all six of my probes not moving anywhere, and here I can actually see my opponents, this is going to be a really easy game! No, it's not, it's replay, you can tell by over there. But, the problem there is that when I did this game yesterday, I actually, <laughs> I thought I was recording, I, I guessed the entire thing, talked through the whole thing, I even did an analysis of the replay afterwards, and then when I tried to hit stop record, it started recording. And, of course, then the only recording I have is of me saying, Fah! But that is besides the point. So what we decided to do, since it, was, it, it wasn't it was a great game, but it was a great game to sort of see all the different things that I did wrong. So what we're going to do is we're just going to actually watch this one. So this is a game between myself and... Haha, <laughs> that's the wrong button. I haven't done these in a long time. Brilmo, and I don't usually... No, wait a minute. I, I do actually do these on the Friday. I'm an idiot. So... Brilmo was uh, actually came in as a random player. We were both gold. I think he was level 34, but I had no idea what race he was. So I just decided to do kind of a you know a, a stick close, and I was really late in my GLHF, but I decided to stick close to my base. So I just put a pylon here on nine. There my pylon at. But if you have a look at this, the worker supply is actually slightly ahead by Brilmo, but I I, I did do all right on the economy. I actually, when I looked at this afterwards, I was really curious because I thought I got thumped, but when I looked at the graphs afterwards, you can probably check in the GG tracker afterwards, I'll uh, link, link to that down below, is I, I stayed mostly competitive, which was impressive because look at this EPM. This EPM is average, came up to something like 100, or it, it might not quite have been that high. Got really lucky on the scout. Uh, so did he, so we both kind of scouted each other. Brumo did not come out with, with a scout at all, so as you can see, I am ahead. Oh no, I'm not quite ahead. I was ahead by Harvesters for a moment there, but then... But I was still behind on income, because he wasn't scouting with a drone. So I finally find him, and I'm like, oh sweet, alright, so, you know, do the usual check. Check, 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 check. Check around for the spawning pool nothing, so it looks pretty macro heavy, it came down here just to check on this, just in case, but while I was doing that, I knew that I had, okay, so if he's macroing up, I then decided that it was time, I don't know why I did it, gas there, so that was just a basic gas on 14, so I did check down there, and then, booyah, alright, so we see an expansion, now the funny thing is, is, I started planning and started saying to myself, oh, we should do, we should do gateway expand, alright, let's get ready to come down here, so I actually moved this probe down, Put another pile on here, which I will need the additional the additional probes in order to have, have enough, and then start boosting again. I think I put three boosts into this. Did not start making any units. It did make a cyber core though, for whatever reason, because at this I think at this point I was panicking and saying, oh wait a minute, maybe, maybe it's not. Yeah, I brought back my scouting probe to be ready to put down the Nexus when I was when I was there, but I started panicking and thinking, oh, remember that one time that I saw him do a fast expand, and then it turned out to not be a fast expand, and he just showed up with a million roaches. So I'm like, oh, panic, 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 panic. So I started screwing up here and there, but I am ahead. See, look look at that. I am ahead with harvesters, but he's ahead with income. Oh, no, wait. I am ahead with income. Uh, it, was, it was backwards for a moment there, but I think that's just because I have a number of scouting... Scouting things just wandering out. Yeah, so, okay. I went out to go and have another scout instead of putting down the Nexus. So I did not expand quickly, and I just wanted to come down here. Now, this was only th four. This was a really good play by Brilmo, where on doing sort of a macro build, just having a couple of defensive units, because if I showed up with a Zealot, that would have made a bit of a mess. So, realistically, that's what I should have been doing, is making is making a zealot so I had something out there, but instead what I was doing is I just decided, all right, well I wasn't sure, so I won't bother with the uh, with the with the gateway expand. So instead I'll put down three more, two more gates. I kept up on my on my supply, which I was kind of impressed with. I kept up with it for a little while. These four zerglings are about all that there is. So so the thing there is we are now pretty much tied for worker supply at that. I only have the one unit and I just... so I kind of mostly a bit walled off here, which I was pretty impressed at, and I believe I held position on Mr... yep, there we go, you got it highlighted. Held position on Mr. Zealot, and for some reason he ran this way and that. He held right there, and then he tries... so Brilmo tries to get through with the Zergling, sends one Zergling, not all of them. This is what happens when you have this kind of EPM, and then says, alright, fine, He's walling in. He's only on one base. It is time to make a stink load of drones. Look at that. Make it eight all at once. So just 
drone up, drone up, drone up, drone up. So he's playing an excellent, excellent game. Brumo was a fantastic opponent, and it, I, I just could not, could not keep up. Although, I actually played, or at least I thought I played, a decent game. Now, the problem here is that at six minutes, I'm still sort of panicking and not really sure what's going on, so I decided to get out. This is really late on the observer front. Do get my, my gateways going. I do have a small a small little unit and army supply there. The worker supply is not that far ahead for what's going on, which I'm pretty proud of. I mean, look at this. I managed to stay on stay on these bases, but at this point, it's definitely time to expand. It is 646. It is definitely time to expand. It's time to expand and do something. Time to keep working on my army. Uh, the worker supply is a bit ahead in Brilmo's, Brilmo's side of things, and nothing, and that's about it. It, the army supply is only slightly ahead here. Static defense and creep spread. Creep spread, creep spread, creep spread. So this is just an excellent move. I can't believe this guy's a random player. Perhaps Zerg was reg was his main, or perhaps he's just really, really good. I don't know what he's doing in gold. Maybe this is some kind of Smurf account, but man, I just felt like I was playing against a really good build. So I think... I think what it is is this guy just knows his builds, trying to get some random points. I've been thinking to myself, maybe the next time, actually, that's a that's a plan I have for later. So finally, I get my. So I'm not I'm not going to give it away just yet, but you'll see. So finally, I get down my nexus. I definitely could. Where oh, where are some units? Come on, I think we're ready for units. I can get like three my three stalkers in. I should start. Yep, there we go. So I do have an immortal on the way. I'm just not really doing anything at the moment. So now I'm trying to I'm trying to have a look and see what his base is is showing at the moment. Now watch this. Because I have this observer here, and he noticed it coming through in one direction, but not the other. So I actually, I actually missed that because I, I sent my observer just to have a have a quick peek. Because if you look over in my base, I can see not a whole hill of squat, and I come in here to see what what kind of tech we're looking at. And we spy. There goes the evolution chamber, but we've got a roach warren up the back. So I think, okay, good. I'm making. Immortals. Let's make another one. As soon as I spot that Roach Warren, I say, all right. So I had that first one just in case. A little heavy on the sentries, but I could probably do with a couple more. Oh, man, I've only got one. Yeah, so I go near his overseer once more. He he sees the blur. I've checked it. When I was looking at the replay before, he sees the blur. What the crap is going on? Oh, it's a transfer. Okay, that's cool. And keeps going. Now, I'm also proud of this, is once I expand, I take three more gates. So I am mostly keeping my keeping my supplies low, but I'm also not making near as much money, because he's actually, Brilmo is moving up to three bases now, so this is when I decide to move out. My army supply is pretty much even. This is the beginning of things going not so well for me. So here comes the first of the changelings. I think there's another changeling over here. Oh no, wait a minute, there we go. So I did see the overseer come in, and I warped in a couple of stalkers just to try to shoot at that, rem keep them remaining out that way. Really should have done a little something about this, because I think he saw me coming the entire way in. And he wasn't all that worried because it was a very, very small, small force. Look, he he outnumbers me quite well and additionally has static defense. So what I decided to do is I decided to go and see if there is a third. Thankfully, I'm right. Oh, he can already see me with a damn creep spread. So I do try to take a few of these out. I also wait until I've got my observer with me, which I... Eh, see, I, I should have been a little bit earlier on that. I should have come up here and popped this base, but here's the problem. Here's the problem. I'm a little bit behind in army supply, and my army isn't even all together. I... <laughs> that was... Oh, man, look at that. Wow, he can just see that coming a mile away. So here's where this comes in. I try to force field this off. It, it does okay, but now I'm sort of slightly split up. I lose out... Oh, I should really force field again. Where's another force field? Right there. No dice. And I lose out to everything. And at this point, I start checking his units with something, and I am losing this really, really badly. But we're 0-0 zero, zero against 0-0. Zero, zero. And theoretically, so I think he probably was focus firing down my immortals, maybe, or my sentries. Probably attacking the sentries and immortals with the hydralisks. But hydralisk roach zergling just destroyed my army comp of... Poorly microed sentries, stalkers, zealots, and immortals, which is bad. So, at this point, at this point, look at the money he's rolling. So, very good macro player. And maybe just floating a little too much, so possibly just missing out a little bit of larva injects. But still, as a random player in gold, this is probably some of the best play I've come up against yet. This guy was excellent. So, I did keep trying to pump things out. Uh, I was trying to make a robotic space so I could take care of most of these, but the, the real problem here is if I was going... Yeah, you see that? 
if I was going to do anything, that was going to be a bad move because the Spire is coming down. So Colossus movement to combat Mutalisks is not very heavy. So now I totally drop off on any kind of pressure. Lucky for me, he doesn't move to... I mean, look at this. He can afford base, 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 base. He could have quadruple expand after pushing me all the way back to my gate because I'm still only on seven gates. Uh, I'm not quite fully saturated on both bases. I am trying to rally, but the only problem is, oh yeah, I think I was supply blocked at this point at 84, so that was a bad time for a supply block. Finally getting a little bit of plus one, but I think they're already on, uh, yeah, missile attacks two. This little overseer down here is still just tossing in the occasional change lane just to see what's going on. Has total control, has total map control, knows exactly where I am. Yep. And knows exactly where I am and exactly what's going on. Now, as far as my tech goes, I did finally get this. I did start working on extended thermal lance, but for some reason I continued to make immortals as opposed to colossus. So with extended thermal lance, you think I'd be doing a little bit better than that. And now I should definitely be warping in a few more, a few more. Oh, units, and oh my goodness, I'm ridiculously high on Chrono Boost, and I'm getting totally done up here. I should be expanding to a third, but I'm just not, because I'm trying to gain a small amount of units. And look at that army supply, so I'm well behind in everything, anything and everything. So, oh, okay, so he's only at 63, but that's cool. There goes the fourth base. And it looks like, oh, I was right, so we finally did decide to take these third and fourth bases. I come up here, and I do have my... Oh, see, I could I could take that. But this is when this Mutalisk army comes up behind me. So off they go. And I move in this way. So I just barely miss him there. This immortal heads that way. And I'm coming up this way. I do finally notice this. And this is when the Mutalisks come in. And how many do I lose here? Workers killed, 9, 10, 11, 13, 14. I did try to remove them out of there, so I do run them. And then he runs up there. So what I do when I see that he's headed up towards my other base is I zip up over here and I try to get all these guys out of here and run. So I only lose... I only lose one. I lost one probe there, but the problem is I didn't quite get back to where I was going. So then I attack this base down here. The problem there is I guardian shielded. <laughs> up against a bunch of Zerglings. So the sentries went down pretty quick because I didn't have my units organized all that well. I did try a force field right there, but look at that. Moves away, waits for a better engagement. I get kind of derpy with my with my attempts at engagement, and he just waits, fuels up again, comes in once more with the three. He's bringing back the Mutalisks right there, so they're coming back to destroy me. I do take out the third, however, he's on the four, five, six down here, and I don't even know about it. At least I don't think I do. No, I don't. And there I go, moving down here, and I think, aha, let's follow these drones, because I know where these drones are going. The problem is, he knows where I'm going as well, because I'm following his drones, and these immortals are going to get picked off by the Mutalisks, because they're slow, and then the Stalkers can't do anything against this combination of Zergling, Roach, Mutalisk. He's given up on the Hydras at this point, probably because they're a bit slow, and look at that, I am just... I am just done. So I've got, for whatever reason, I've left most of my probes down here, and I can only warp in, like, a few at a time, because i have so down on resources... And he just ruined my economy with those Mutalisks. I did manage to hold on to a fair number. Just not enough. It was a very... It was a very solid game. It was It was also... It felt one-sided, but I really enjoyed the challenge that it brought to me, if that makes any sense. This is just it. I like a good game. I like losing a good game. And this, to me, felt like a good game... Because in order to win, I needed to be a better player, not just be able to play better. You know? Like, if, I, if I'm if i faster, then I could cheese and do things like that. But I'd rather be a better player. I'd rather... I don't even know what I'm trying to say. Anyway, leave me a comment down below. Send me an email, ziggityzig at gmail.com. You can follow me on Twitter at ziggityzig. I'll stop trying to talk. It's a lot easier if I just talk about things that don't matter fluffy stuff and not strategy. I'm going to do use a little applied strategy. Uh, stay tuned. <laughs>